Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we would be playing the second stage of my 2D platformer game, Miles Journey. Which I plan to release in a few days time, so once it's ready I would leave a link in the description of this video and I will also let you know through the community post. So if you're just joining the channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and if you watch on this video, um, don't forget to like the video. Okay, so let's begin. Let's take a look at the second stage of the game. Okay, so I already have it running in the back, so Okay, so this is the second stage of the game. This is what it looks like right now. So once you're done with the first stage, it kind of takes you to a different page which shows you your score and rates you based on your performance and the gems you collected so once you're done with that you can hit next and this should bring you to the next stage so this is the stage two of the game okay so let's play along and um first thing we have here are the um should we call this bats i guess okay so let's call this some enemies so you kind of have to shoot them and get some gems there we go sorry <laughs> It's a, um, we also have double jump, so I guess that's what I had to do. Okay, so... There we go. Now this is kind of the first spike in the game. Actually, you don't want to get in conflict with the spikes. They will drain your life out. And there we go, so just don't get in conflict with the spikes. And that's the enemy so here again we have kind of this whole slide mechanism we have um, a black hit box right here so once a player is in collision with the hit box and he presses s key kind of plays the um, slide animation of the player so that's um, basically what just happens there and um, keep going more enemies here okay so here it's kind of um, a jump through so uh, we're, we're able to actually jump up and oh no photo okay yep we're able to shoot the enemy okay so um, double jump here again so you can actually catch this ladder and you need to press um, the up key to do that so, so I'm pressing the up key and that's it <laughs> making this once again you may notice the um, um, behavior of the enemies which is when I shoot them okay so once it's in collision, as you can see, I shot it and it moved backwards. So what actually happens there is that the animation of the play changes to the that animation, and that's actually the position of um, the enemy on its death um, frame. So that's it. The first death frame kind of has it um, moves it backwards. Then um, the second. So. So moves it backwards and so the enemy can fall uh, properly. There we go. Okay, so here we have this um, jumping and you have to jump from one part to the other. Actually, the initial plan for this was um, to have some um, to make our player able to grab the ledges, but um, due to some um, decisions made, I just decided to add the platforms there. <laughs> okay. So, um, that's more gems for us, and the enemy up here. So, I guess we have like two different types of enemies for each uh, stage. Need to ensure the enemies actually go around the whole stage, and well, that's why I just put that there. 
Once again, we have a breach. Okay, so I'll explain the logic behind this whole breach. And um, now you may be thinking, um, okay, I reduced the heat box, so that's not what I actually did here. I um, added a black box. It's kind of a black heat box, so I added the black heat box here. So I'll play again. I'm um, sorry, not a heat box. I added the black um, object. It's a sprite object which uses a platform behavior so I added it here and I'll play can walk on it so I also use that across the game to um, restrict um, the player's access and movements okay so there you go there, here we have our very first key and um, okay I'll just come down a little bit and have to shoot them both. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And boom. We have our very first key for the game. Let's move upwards and um, jump. It's a really nice one and uh, here we have another and here we go okay so um, I cannot remove the last gem here because the player would not touch it so oh no, I just removed that Okay. No, I tried it multiple times and our player could not touch the gem, so I had to remove it. And, um, yep, yeah, that's why. Well, this, um, this game. Okay, so we're at the top now, and um, probably the last um, layer in the game, or this should be the highest point in the game, actually. <laughs> in this stage, this is it. So let's go down, and um, yep, watch out for the spike. Hold on, and there we go. Now, what we're trying to do is actually get um, to the portal there, so. This. And now we have to wait. <laughs> there we go. And here we have this key. So this kind of just takes us back. I have a tutorial on the portal, just in case you want to know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description of it. So basically it just changes the hitbox position of the player, so kind of gives it a whole teleporting look and there we go. So more gems for us. Okay, so here I guess I have to be very careful, else I would fall. Okay, double jump would do. Okay, so let's go up and... Okay, so let's go up and... Another about that and here 
Here we have another enemy and we need him out, so shoot the enemy. <laughs> Okay, so that's a checkpoint up there, and let's shoot this. So this is also a jump through here, once you above it, there is actually no way back down. <laughs> yep, no way. Can restrict your current position and stuff, so here we have a key, and well, you can choose to go forward, or you can just get the um, checkpoints which would ensure you don't repeat this stage again. Okay. Okay, so there we have the um, enemy dead. Sorry about that. We have to be careful about this. Enemies. Okay, so there we go, and um, once again we have a jump through. Okay. Enemy. Here we go. Okay. Once again, so there we have the um, third key. Sorry about my window. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so there we have our fourth key, and um, that's the last key we need to unlock the door. So just move this and shoot. Let's get out the gems, and uh, once again, let's get the gems. Oh jeez, sorry about that. More gems for us. And more. I think we still have one more enemy. Oh yeah, there we go. One more. So basically this is, um, I guess, the guy who guards the door. So, boom. And there we go, that's the last enemy of stage 2. So let's go to our door and it opens up and fades out. So there you go, that's the second stage of the game Mario's Journey. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also share with people who um, might be interested in the video. So, so like I said earlier, once the the project folder is ready, I would leave a link in the description for you guys to download. So thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video.